Welcome students, I'm Mr. Shields and I created this video because it's my understanding there is still a lot of confusion about how to create and save Microsoft Office files. Whether you are using Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, there are three primary ways that you create and save Microsoft Office files on your device. The process is exactly the same no matter which of the Microsoft Office products you are using. Hopefully by watching this video and learning a little bit more about the three ways you can create and save files, it will save you some time and eliminate some hassle that you've been having. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, or better yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Now let's go ahead and get started learning about the three methods for creating and saving Microsoft Office files. Students, remember there are three primary ways that you can create and save Microsoft Office files. Most of you are using what is called the desktop version of Microsoft Office, meaning that when you want to launch an Office product, you go to the Start button and you find the product you want to use, whether it be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I'm going to click on Word for this demonstration. Once Word launches, I will create a file. In this case, I'm just going to choose one of the templates and I'm going to allow that file to load. Once the file loads and I work on it in class and I edit that and I'm ready to save it, there are a couple of different ways that you can save the file. Of course, you can click on the disk icon right here to save, or you can go to file. You will notice that save and save as are the exact same operation the first time that you save because the computer is asking you where you want to save this file and how you want it to be named or categorized. At this point is where mistakes sometimes happen. If you don't know where the file is being saved, it can easily be lost. A lot of students will indicate that they have saved something in Word. Word is not capable of saving something. This is an operation that is very different from the iPad. So your file is never ever going to be stored in Word. It is always going to be stored on a hard drive or on a cloud drive where you specify that. It's very important that when you are using Microsoft Word that you want to save your files in your Greencastle OneDrive account. So once you double click there, you will have this dialog box that will open. And this will show you your OneDrive and it will show any folders that you have created in your OneDrive. A best practice is to create a folder for each class. So in this case, I'm just going to create a new folder and I am going to call it Office Demo. And then I'm going to open that folder by left clicking on that folder twice and notice that there is nothing saved in that folder, obviously. And so I'm going to call this example word file. And this file has been created with the desktop version. I follow the best practice of saving and then choosing the location in OneDrive where I want to save that. And I'm going to click save. And after just a couple of seconds, that file will save. I sped up the process there, but you can see how the file is saved. And I now know where the location of that file is. And I know that if my computer is damaged or destroyed, I will not lose that file because it is stored in a cloud storage. That is the proper way to save if you are using the desktop version of Microsoft Office. Students, now that you are familiar with how to create and save a Microsoft Office file using the desktop version, we're going to transition and complete the same operation using the Office 365 portal. If you have never logged into Office 365, you can do so by going to login.microsoftonline.com, login.microsoftonline.com. Once you are there, you will see this login screen. At that point, you will enter your school email. Followed by your Greencastle password. Notice that the screen turned to the purple G when you entered your school email address. And then you can choose whether you would like to stay signed in or not. Once Office 365 has loaded, you will see the portal that looks exactly like what I see here, or very similar to what I see right here. You have Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and you also have some additional products that are available only online. In the previous section of the video, I created a Word document. Now I'm going to create an Excel file and show you the operation works regardless of which type of Office file that you choose. So I'm going to select Excel, and just like the last time, I will be taken to the screen where I'm asked to create a new file, and I can either create a blank file or I can create a file from a template. Again, I will just create a file from a template just to simplify things for the video. Once the Excel file has loaded, you will see the online version of Excel. This is a little bit different than the desktop version. If you were to open the full version, you would see a few more commands. But for basic editing, the online version works just fine. Saving with the online version is different, however. Notice there is no disk button to save, and if I go to File, there is a Save As option if I want to create a duplicate copy, but there is no Save option. The way I name my file is by clicking up here where it says book, and I can give this a new name. So I'm going to call this Excel example. And 
this file is being saved all the time. So if I make any change to this file, I can be assured that, that is saved. And at any point, I can exit out of this file just by simply closing the tab where it is open. Once I have exited out, the key question, of course, is where is this file saved? Because I named it, but I did not indicate where I wanted to be saved like I did with the full version. If I look down here on my Office 365 portal, I will see the example or the Excel example file rather is saved right here. But that just allows me to access the file. It does not actually show me where the file is saved. Everything that is created through the online portal is saved in OneDrive. If I click on OneDrive, if I single left click on OneDrive, I will load my OneDrive files and folders. Once the files and folders have loaded, you will notice that they are the exact same files and folders that were shown to me when I saved on the full version. So my Office demo folder right here that I saved my Word file in is right there. And in fact, if I open that, I will see that my Word demo is shown right there. And I can see that my example Word file is there. And I can easily navigate back just by clicking on files up here. And that will take me back to the main OneDrive screen. And from there, I will locate any uncategorized files. And here I see there's Excel example, what I just created. So I have a couple of options if I want to organize this and put this in the same Office demo folder. I can drag this file and I can drop it in the folder where I want. That's one option. I can also click this little circle with a blue check mark right there. And then I can select Move To. And it will ask me what folder do I want to move to. I want to move to the Office Demo folder, which is right here. And then I click Move Here. Once I have clicked Move Here, I can locate the Office Demo folder, and I will see there are two files in it. And if I double left click that to open, I will now see the Example Word file and the Excel example are both saved there. That is how you save a file using Office 365. <music> Students, the final method for creating and saving a Microsoft Office file is basically a variation on the previous method of using Office 365. In the last section of the video, I told you to choose the app in which you wanted to create the file. This time, we are going to go one step further and help organize a little bit more by choosing OneDrive. Double click on OneDrive to open your online Office 365 version of OneDrive. Once OneDrive has loaded, you are going to navigate to the folder where you want to save your file. I will continue to work out of my Office demo folder, and I will double click that folder to open and when it is opened, I will see that I have my example Word file and my Excel example. Now I have the option up here to create a new file. If I click the down arrow, it asks me what type of file I want to create. And this time I will create a PowerPoint presentation. So it will create a PowerPoint presentation using the online version of PowerPoint, which again will appear a little bit different than the desktop version of PowerPoint, but it will have the same basic commands. Once PowerPoint is loaded, I will see that simplified online version of PowerPoint. And if you remember from the last section, the way you name an online file is by clicking in the name that appears in the top bar. So sticking with the theme, I will call this example PowerPoint. And again, I will notice that there is only a save as button. There's no save button. Actually, it's save a copy in your, when you're in PowerPoint. So I know that the file has been saved whenever I'm working on it. And at any point, I can exit out of that browser tab, and I will know that file has been saved. And it will take me back to my OneDrive. And if I want to double check to make sure that that file is in fact saved, I will navigate to my Office Demo folder. And I will double click that folder. And I will see that now my example PowerPoint is stored there. So all of my files are now accessible from my online version of Office 365. They would also be accessible if I were to hit the Start button and I were to navigate to my OneDrive that is shown on the Start button, or through my File Explorer, either one, I would find any of those files available to me and able to be accessed on the full version. So I can access the full version by going there, or I can access the online version by going through my Office 365 portal. <music> Students, just a few words to conclude today's video. Hopefully you found the video useful. Just a couple of things to remember. First of all, your files are never stored in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. They should be stored in your Microsoft OneDrive. Everything that you create in Microsoft Office should go through OneDrive. That way it can be accessed using the full version or the online Office 365 version. If you have any questions, please let me know, but I hope this video saves you a lot of time and helps you avoid some confusion. Thanks, and have a great day.